It began with a frightening road rage incident you'll see only on two tonight. A driver pulls a gun on a father and a son. The victim tells us he tried to move into another lane and the driver started yelling and cursing at him. And from there, things only escalated. Hello, I'm Dominique Soxa. I'm Bill Baiesa. Thank you for joining us. The entire thing stretched nearly eight miles from Highway 249 and Old Tomball Waller Road into Houston, ending in a Walmart parking lot off 249 at Spring Cypress. Our Jonathan Martinez live now with a scary situation. Jonathan. Yeah, guys, certainly a scary ordeal for this family. One they say they will never forget, and it ended right here in this parking lot. It was really scary. I didn't know what was going to happen. Alan Ross Stotts and his 15 year old son Ethan say they had just left the doctor's office Tuesday afternoon and driving along Highway 249 when they were trying to get over a lane and didn't realize there was a car there. Then things took a turn and quickly got heated with the other driver. Uh, at that point, he yelled, screamed profanity hit his horn, I hit my horn, and the pi a pistol came out. My dad said, get in the floorboard, because we did not know his intentions with the firearm. Stott says, fearing for their lives, he called police, and they told him to pull over at a nearby Walmart where deputies would be waiting. And surprisingly, the man he said who was following them did too. And him, you know, getting around and getting behind me scared me to death too, because we were on the phone with dispatch, and um, that was, it felt like a dangerous situation, like he was going to go ahead and finish out what he had started. Stott says the man was questioned by deputies and he does plan to press charges as the investigation remains ongoing. As for the entire ordeal, the family says in this day and age, potential road rage incidents just aren't worth it. It escalated very, very quickly. And um, I don't think you realize how serious it is until you look down the barrel of that pistol. And we did reach out to the Harris County Sheriff's Office to learn more about that person accused of pulling the gun. And if, in fact, charges will be pressed so far, we've not heard back from them. We are reporting live tonight from Tomball. I'm Jonathan Martinez, KPRC Channel 2 News.